Hey everyone, it's Amber Spotted Elk at The Paper Owl and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. We have a quick tutorial. It's part of a swap that Tamika over at Scrap the World is so kindly hosting, so thank you so much to her. As always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel. Comment below, let me know what you think of this project. And as always, if you'd like to become part of the Paper Owl family, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified every single time that I upload. Friendly reminder, my giveaway is ending tomorrow, Friday, November 6th. It's part of my last Dollar Tree haul video. So if you'd like a chance to win some free goodies, definitely go check that out. Without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys. Okay. So I wanted to go kind of a full effect here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So this is how your treat boxes are going to come. Uh, the bag will open at the bottom so you can reuse this bag and the bag topper I'm not attaching um, just with a paper clip so that you can attach that or reuse it or put one of your own on if you don't like this one. Um, the colors for my tutorial to put the box together um, are just a little bit different than what's going to come in the swaps. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. The boxes are going to be more of a teal color. So um, yes just just a warning there so there is our bag topper the attachment like I said it will open from the bottom I'm trying to keep these as kind of put together as possible but some of these pieces may come a little loose so apologies if that happens and my name is Amber from the paper owl just FYI Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is for Scrap the World. Tamika over at Scrap the World. Her swap for um, the treat boxes. And this is my tutorial on how to put this together. So everyone in my swap who is Gemzile BBZ Crafts of Crafts I heart yes so those are my the other members in my swap um, and we'll need to know how to put this box together so this is me walking you guys through that so hopefully this is helpful um, I tried to attach everything as well as I could with this large paper clip I love these things um, I am just going to pull this ribbon out so there's three pieces of ribbon, two wider and one smaller. I have one brad right here as well. Um, you will have two brads. I just have attached one already and I didn't want to take it out because um, I was just kind of testing some things. And also here's um, one of our embellishments for the box. Here's another one. We've got another charm, a little bow. Uh, this bow on this embellishment you can see is it's it might be kind of hard to see, um, but there is a little bow here. Uh, this will come separately in yours. I attach this to mine already, but it will come separately in yours. So you have the option of putting this embellishment on there or not. I wanted to give you that choice. Uh, and then we have. Um, our two diamond embellishments as well and so um, yeah I had I was testing out the brads and so I, I put one in already um, and let's just start there I think the brads will be a good place to start because it may be harder as you put the box together to get the brads in and so you can see I've got one right here and I'm just gonna put one on the other side I put a little tiny hole just with um, my paper poker. Um, you could also use, like if you have a Cricut hook, those work well for me too when I'm making a hole. 
um, it just kind of starts it out so you don't have to uh, potentially like rip through your paper so I'll flatten out my brad arms just like that try and twist them so that they're not going to get in the way of anything There we go. I do like to put a little bit of hot glue over these. Um, one, so that they stay in place, and two, um, to kind of create um, a little barrier so that they're not getting caught up on, you know, either the paper inside or whatever you're putting inside. You don't have to do that by any means. That is just something I like to do. So, move our embellishments here. Okay, next up, I am going to... And also, what I recommend with this box, I'm sure with most of the boxes, I would recommend putting the embellishments on first and then putting the box together. I think that's going to be the easiest way. I'm just gonna use my ATG gun. Of course, you can use whatever adhesive you enjoy. I kinda of go back and forth. I'll use my ATG gun, and then I'll use my glue. Sometimes I'll change it depending on what project I'm doing, I guess. So, and actually, before I put these on, I put the glue on there, but one moment. Okay, so... Before I glue those on, I do want to attach these pieces of ribbon. Now, for you guys, I did not do this ribbon just because I was running low on what I used for you guys. And so this is just kind of to show you. Um, this is what is actually going to come in your packages for the handles. And so, um, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I had plenty for you guys. So I'm using this ribbon in lieu of that, just as an FYI. And I'm going, to, I don't know how well this is going to work either. Let me see. So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda have to make do. like that. I thought this would suffice as a substitute, but it is definitely not sufficing. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, let me see. I think I've got some more... Of this thinner ribbon I think that might work a little bit better let me see uh, it just doesn't have the same movement as the sequence Okay, I'm just going to leave that part off. It's just one of the embellishments. You don't really, you'll know how to attach it with this sequence. Let me just show you. It, because it's, you know, individual sequence, it lays much nicer in the position that you're putting it into. So 
you're not going to have that issue um, that I'm having with the ribbon. So <laughs> apologies for that. Um, but you can see here, this is how the sequence will lay. And then you're going to put your diamond over top of that so that you're covering up kind of these rough edges there. That was mainly what I wanted to show you. So um, we'll just go ahead and skip that part. So sorry guys. Okay. I don't know why I felt like dancing all over that diamond with my fingers just now. Okay. And this is my first swap with Tamika, and I am so excited. I barely missed the last one, the Halloween swap, which I was super bummed about, but that's okay. I made it into this one, so I'm so excited, and I hope you guys like everything. You know, if you have any tips or suggestions or, um, you know, constructive criticism, please, by all means, definitely um, send me a message, comment below, um, anything. I'm, I'm welcome to it. I'm newer to YouTube. Um, this is my first swap ever. And so please let me know if there's anything with my packaging, with my design, with my instruction. Please, 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 please let me know. <laughs> Okay, but hopefully everything's great. But yes, if not, definitely let me know. Okay, so we've got our diamond pieces on. We've got our brads on. Next up, we're going to do one of our embellishments here. And so the way the box is going to sit, this is technically going to be our front. And it's going to sit sideways. And so... I have decided that I want my embellishment to be read this way so that it's being read straight on rather than have it go with the diamond um, but that I mean that's my preference however you guys want to have yours absolutely yours will say celebrate as well um, I had thought about doing hello but I wanted this to be a little bit more of a celebratory gift. So it can be used for birthday, um, any sort of celebration, milestone, could even be graduation. So I wanted it to really kind of be able to be used for a lot of things. So, all right. And I think I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue to put this on. And I want it just kind of right in the middle. Yeah, I like it there. Perfect. Like I said, that little bow will be optional for you guys. Okay, next up, I am going to attach the charm, which will come on a piece of acetate as well. This was just a little extra that I had laying around. Um, so I'm going to make sure... All the sticky is off of there. And loop this through. And I want that to kind of sit on top of um, this little diamond charm as well. So this can be just as a diamond charm or um, I'm also using it as a to from tag so I think that is a, just a cute little way especially if the receiver wants to use the box for something else they can just kind of slip this off of there if they don't want to keep it on so I really liked that and I'm putting a little charm on there um, pretty much each charm will be different And actually, I think I'm going to wait to attach that till the end. And I wanted to do an additional 
little bow on the other side. And again, this is optional. By all means, not totally necessary. So I have decided, I think, that I'm going to do hot glue to put this together just because I feel like that's probably going to provide me the most stability, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going to start with the other side of the box, and so this is our front. It's got this single flap here with no fold over piece like this one does. So this one will go in first and this one will then come up and attach there. And then this does have this flap here. And so that will go right in. <laughs> We'll go right in the bottom there, right as I say that it goes there, it doesn't want to go. Okay, so what I want to do is place some glue on this large flap that doesn't have the extra little bit on there because that can fold in. And again, you can use whichever adhesive you like to use. Okay. And again, just fold this little flappy in here. Before it goes all the way in, or I'm going to actually, um, I guess you can push it all the way in, that's fine. Um, and then pull down on it so that um, you can add some adhesive there. Of course, no, it's not wanting to go for me. Okay, there we go. So I'm just adding a little bit of extra glue onto that flap. Just to hold, just to have a little bit more stability. You don't have to, it structurally, you don't have to put glue on that little flap as long as it's folded in there. Um, okay, and so then you have these two little wingy pieces on the sides. And so... Um, they fold here and the extra wings are what is going to be attached on the inside here. So I'm going to want to do those both at the same time. Put my hot glue, put those in and attach. And then I like to kind of pinch it in place, make sure that the hot glue didn't like really pile on in one place and cause like a gap or anything to be showing. All right, so same thing. We'll do both of these little wingy pieces. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, so now we've got those wingy pieces in and I'm gonna make sure I don't have any hot glue strings on here. There's our box. So I'm going to attach, lastly, our little tag on here. So, and I will be providing the um, 
the fluff, I guess is what I call it, um, on the inside of the box. You know, it people use the crinkle paper or tissue paper, and so that will be included as well. But I wanted, if you're watching this prior, I wanted some of that to be left as a surprise. So why can't I find this other string? There it is. Okay. Um, I wanted it to be as a surprise, and so I'm not going to show that in here. But the um, but yeah, the fluff that goes on the inside with the gift will um, will be there. So just be aware of that. I'm going to cut off this excess a little bit. I just don't like all of that on there. But there it is. It's our little diamond box with our little diamond tag and charm. I love this. I think it's super cute. I, I, w I didn't want to go with the traditional just box and um, I wanted to do something a little bit more fun that could be used for so many different occasions. I really hope that you guys like this as much as I do. Um, and like I said, please comment below if you have any suggestions or you just want to tell me you like it or have any co constructive criticism, like I said. But definitely like this video if you like it. It, um, gives, it really does help my channel. Comment below. Subscribe, hit that bell button to get notified every single time that I upload. I am going to try and do some more paper products um, on my channel along with my home decor stuff. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Comment below, let me know um, if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see some more paper crafting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.